What is up guys, I am back with the Rexer and today I'm replacing something that I should have replaced a long time ago. And it is that boot back there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is snapped in half. So I'm gonna be replacing that. It looks like it's gonna be kinda hard to do. But I don't know. I went to uh, Advanced Auto Parts and picked up some gloves, some grease for the axle, and this is the boot that the new one that I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna get started on this. Hopefully I can do this without messing anything up. Good luck. All right, I got my tire off, and now that I'm looking at it, it is really difficult to get back there, so I think I'm gonna take a different route, and um, I marked off where, it all, like how many threads I've went on it, because that's my alignment, basically. But I don't get how I'm going to take this off. It looks weird as can be. Um, so I'm going to take that off somehow. And then I got to take those bolts off to get to the boot to take it off. But the one part that I don't have to worry about is down here. There's like no space. I have to get somehow up there. And there's um, a thing up there where it's a clip that holds the boots on. So, sorry for the shakiness, but yeah. So that's gonna be difficult, but I wanna try my best. But yeah, you can see how it looks so clean in there still though. And I went to Colorado and back with off-roading. It looks so clean. I'm surprised. But yeah, let's try this out. All right guys, it looks like it's about to storm out. Um, I got the tire ride off. Uh, I moved the car a bit too. Um, I got the tire right off because I didn't have enough room. Um, and then, so now all I do is take these bolts off, and then there's a clamp way back there which you can't see. It's really hard to get to. I have to undo that clamp and just clamp it around that thing. And then once I do that, I just slide the boot off, slide the new one on, grease it up with all that grease I bought, and it should be mint. So. I'm gonna try it out and hopefully I don't get fucked over by the storm, but I probably will. Oh, the focus, focus. Oh god, please. I can't even. Nope, there we go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll come back to you whenever I get these bolts off and get the old boot off. It's all cracked. Dude, it is hailed so bad. It is raining so bad. Look at, look at my ground! Look, look at all those white spots! That's all hail! I'm sorry that's so shaky. Dude! It was baseball sized hail. Like, that's all melted now. Like, I just started recording. Oh, like, it's been like straight, like five minutes of ha straight hailing. Baseball sized hail. It, they did not talk about hail on the news. They just said it's gonna rain. And it's gonna, like, just go by fast. And I, look at this. I just still work on my car. Like under this, I was just kind of. I, that's my plan. My plan was to like, keep working on my car while it just rained. Like I just didn't. I just didn't care. I was like, I can still work on my car. I don't care. Man, look at all. Look how big that one is over there. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Sorry for the shaky footage. You guys are probably gonna get sick. Well, I get. I don't know how bad the hail damage is. It looks pretty bad. I don't care about the rain. I'm walking out in the rain. Yeah, look at, oh my god, that's a big dent. I guess I'll look at the hail damage whenever it stops raining. They said that was going to be a fast storm. It's going to rain really fast and that, that was going to be it. You guys are probably wondering why I just didn't do it in the garage. I don't have as much room in the garage. And there's not, like, no, there's like no light at all in my garage. That's why I was like, oh, I can just, oh my god, still hailing. That was so loud. Oh, it's hailing again. Well, I guess I'll come back to you guys. I'm just gonna keep working on my car. You know, I just don't care. Like, who cares? Like, this car is my life at this point. Like, that's all I do is work on this car and have fun using this car. I'm gonna keep doing it. Oh my god, that was so loud. This hail damage, bro. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep working on my car. I just took off another bolt over here. All I have is one more bolt to go. 
And then I can take off the clamps, take that boot off, and put the new one on. The thunderstorm has passed. It was it didn't even last that long. It just came and went. The biggest thing I see is just right here, when I pointed out the first time. But other than that, I actually don't see that many, like I don't see anything really, thankfully. Um, but yeah, I did get farther while it was raining and, and all that stuff. I got the boot off. I had to cut this one in half because it would not come off. So I just cut it in half with a razor blade. Got this one off. Got the new one and the grease. And I'm gonna get ready to put it on. So yeah, um, I will show you that right now. All right. And so that's where the boot was at. This is the, the clamp for the back part, and this is the front part clamp. Wait, oh, it's way down here, but it's supposed to be up there more. Yeah, so the boot is supposed to be over all that stuff up there. As I grease it all up, put the new one on, and hopefully she works, but yeah. Stupid mailman. <laughs> but yeah. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. I want to finish before daylight runs out, so yeah. Almost done, all I have to do is slide the new boot on and um, put some more grease up in there, some fresh grease, and put it on. But while I was trying to put it on, I did poke a small hole in it. So I guess I'm gonna have to redo this again in like another month or so. I won't make a video on it, I'll just do, redo it. Because that was my first time doing it. But I just want to show you guys this. Look at this. The hail was so bad. It, <laughs> look what it did to my oil can. This is the um, can canister I use to collect my oil whenever I do oil changes. Yeah. That's a huge dent. It popped the lid off too. Like the lid won't even sit right anymore. But yeah. Um, my car is now like getting drier. I'm trying to look for dents. There's like one right here. There's not as many as I thought there was going to be, which is good. Car looks really dirty. Like, uh, I'm so glad it, it, it was not that bad. My car is so dirty. But yeah, I'm going to finish this boot up with my small little hole. But yeah. This is the windshield damage my mom got on her car. It's a big size thing and it's cracked all of it for a windshield and she said it got worse as she kept driving look at this it's been like an hour and there's still like hail like those things must have been huge if they're still like it's like 70 degrees out it's been like an hour and they're still out here it's insane it's about time I wrap this video up I only got like four dents on my hood and besides I'll just buy a carbon fiber hood I don't really care um <laughs> Let's see here. The boot is now on, and yeah, the original clamps that they have on it were pretty bad, so I legit just zip tied it. It's all zip tied now. And this side, it's like a I just put a thermal clamp in. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's hard to see because I got my tire back on now. And she is mint. So, I just want to tell you guys that I'll be getting an exhaust for my car. I'll be making a video on that. I should be getting the exhaust on the 8th, May 8th. Um, so, be looking forward to that. And I'll be getting rid of this exhaust, the stock exhaust. There's a bunch of dirt in it because I was doing some off-roading. Hopefully, I don't ruin my new exhaust that I get. But, um, you can't really see it at all in there. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. I have a new outro that you guys are going to watch um, in a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoy the outro. Let me know what you guys want to see next from me. And hopefully I can bring you more car videos. And that's it. So, hope you guys enjoy the outro. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. And peace out.